Hey guys, welcome back to Marco here. Another really cool lesson. Now, the awesome thing about fingerstyle is the fact that you can combine chords with um, a melody. Now, chords don't have to be difficult, and the melody doesn't have to be difficult. In fact, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you a very simple melody that you can play, even if you are a beginner fingerstyle. Now, guys, when I say beginner, um, I mean that. You know, if you've been playing guitar for a few months and you'll be strumming a few chords and you want to start, you know, playing something with fingerstyle, this is definitely the right lesson for you. Now, if you just, you know, received your guitar or if you just bought your first guitar and you've been playing for three days, this is probably not the right lesson. So you want to come back when you are ready, okay? So take it step by step. It's a nice, uh, cute, bluesy little melody. And we are in the key of A major. So we have a tone of open strings and beautiful chords. So let's take it step by step. Check my Patreon page. Um, you can get the tab. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. And guys, we post on a weekly basis. So you definitely want to subscribe. Now, uh, let's have a close up and let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. Now, uh, first thing, chord progression, super simple, A. And E and F sharp minor and D. And the rhythm is really cool because we have triplets and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, and one. Okay, so that's extremely important. Um, and um, the melody sounds like this. I'm gonna play a little bit slower than the intro so that you also um, you know can see what I do with the right hand. And then we repeat the same thing one octave higher. Now we're gonna start with the A major chord and um, the first three notes we are playing are from the pentatonic scale of A major. Okay, super simple. And we're gonna start with the fourth string fret number two, four, the third string fret number two, okay? And these three notes are played without the bass, so. Try always to alternate with the right hand. And then I'm gonna play the first uh, chord, okay? And the first chord is A major, so the root note is the fifth string open, okay? And what I do, I'll play the uh, second string fret number two. Now, obviously, to give a little bit more of a bluesy sound, I actually start, uh, I actually pluck the fret number one, and then I quickly slide to the fret number two without plucking it again, so. Awesome. Now after that, um, and this is something that will occur uh, every time throughout the uh, melody, is that once I play the first note of the melody, I pluck it simultaneously with the bass note, like I'm doing right now. And then what I'll do, I'll have the bass note again, which is in that case the fifth open string, and then I will play uh, the rest of the melody, which is the second string for number two the third string fret number four, fret number two, and that's it, okay? Now, the second bass note is played um, quickly, okay? And right before I play the rest of the melody, so simultaneously, and then, okay? So as you can see, uh, it's, um, it's very quick. So I have the bass note, and then quickly, 
um, I play the melody again. And this is a rhythmic pattern that um, occur all the time, okay? So... Now the second chord, the E major chord, um, is going to sound like this. Okay? And uh, as you can see, the same rhythmic pattern. Uh, and I'm going to start with the sixth string, which is my root note, and the third string fret number four. I pluck that simultaneously um, with thumb in the middle here. And then I'm going to have the uh, sixth string again. And then the second string, fret number two. And remember that this pattern is uh, very quick. So the thumb, and then quickly I play the uh, second string, fret number two, okay? And then after that, I have the third string, fret number four, and fret number two, all right? Um, third chord, F sharp minor. That's a little bit more challenging, so let's just check it out. The root note is F sharp, which is the sixth string, fret number two, and I really like to play it with the second finger here. The melody um, starts on the third string, fret number two, so two fingers within the same fret, okay? And I pluck that simultaneously, and this time I'm just plucking with thumb and index, okay? So it kind of changes sometimes. Sometimes you play thumb middle, sometimes thumb index. Uh, I pluck that simultaneously, okay? And then I will have exactly the same uh, two notes, but this time played not simultaneously. I play the sixth, and then the third, and then the third string. And then I have the second string, fret number two, and fret number five. Okay, it's a little bit of a stretchy thing here, so take it step by step, okay? And uh, one more time. And I finish with the beautiful D major chord. Okay, which sounds pretty simple. And uh, I have the fourth string, that's my root note, D. And the first string, fret number two. I pluck that simultaneously with thumb and middle. Then I have the thumb again, and the same note of the melody. Then the fret five and fret two. All right. So far we, um, you know, completed the uh, first line. And so one thing will important, guys. Make sure that you take it step by step and learn one line at a time. And almost also really important the rhythm. One, two, three. So these are all triplet, uh, okay? So you really want to make sure that you count in three rather than in four. Now let's check. Let's check out the second uh, section. Now we just play the D major, and the melody goes like this. Okay, that's super easy. Uh, we back to the A major chord, okay? <clears throat> so you have fifth open, and the second string fret number five simultaneously. And then the fifth string, second string fret number two, third string fret number four, and then fret number two. Okay. And then after that, I'm gonna play an E major again. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, which is pretty simple. Um, it's exactly probably the same. Yeah, the same E major we just played. Um, so sixth string open and the third string fret number four simultaneously and then the bass again second string fret two third string fret four and two and this time rather than uh, you know just play again the F sharp minor we're gonna play a D major okay so it's pretty cool because we don't have to play the uh, F sharp minor and what we'll play is a melody um, on the second string uh, following the same pattern okay and ending up here okay ending the phrase on the second string here so uh, the bass note is the fourth string okay the D um, and the second string fret number um, three two three five three five and seven okay so pretty straightforward and I'm um, plucking with thumb and middle, and then I alternate. So it's middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, always alternating, okay? 
and that's the first um, section okay so make sure that you take it step by step because after that we're gonna play exactly the same melody um, just one octave higher okay uh, using a different pentatonic box but the melody is exactly the same except for the last um, chord okay so let's check it out all right so you've been playing this beautiful D major now once you play the last note here um, you want to kind of you know reorganize your pentatonic and uh, you want to play the first three notes that we uh, played here we want to play here which are one octave higher and I'm playing the second string for number five seven and the first string um, for number five okay now the awesome thing is that after that you have to slide all the way uh, to position number nine okay so the index will be in, on, always on fret number nine and that's the reason why we call it position nine and um, we're using a different A major pentatonic box which is this one beautiful uh, scale and so the entire melody will be played around this box, okay? Uh, except for one chord, the one we're gonna have all the way up to fret 14 here. Now, how does it work? You play the first three notes, and then the melody will start here. Okay, that's the first chord, A major. You have the fifth open string, which is still your root note of A, and the first string, fret number nine. Simultaneously, then the bass, and then I have the first string for number nine second string for number 12 10 okay and then I play E major okay and uh, same melody guys um, I'm playing the sixth open string the second string for number 12 okay then I have bass note again and the first string for number nine second string for 12 and the second string for number 10 now the third chord is F sharp minor is a little bit more challenging and stretchy, okay? Um, fifth string fret number nine, that's F sharp, okay? And the melody uh, is on the second string fret number 10. You pluck that simultaneously. Then you have the bass again. And after the bass, you play the second string fret number 10 again, okay? So, then the first string fret number nine and the uh, first string fret number 12, okay? Um, so really, really important guys, use exactly the same fingering I am using as I am considering the pentatonics, the fingering for the pentatonic scale. So I don't play this melody with one finger only, okay? So quick recap. Now, the next chord is D major, uh, which uh, before we played here, okay, and uh, unfortunately we have to go all the way up here, okay, uh, which is pretty kind of fun to do because uh, make you, you know, just make you look like you are kind of an advanced guitar player, uh, which is great. And we are playing the fourth open string, the first string fret number 14, then the bass note, and then the fret 14, fret uh, 17, and back to fret 14. Okay, so just a quick try. And then we go back. To, um, the A major chord okay uh, which will be played with the fifth open string and the first string fret number 12 and as you can see I already you know went back to the position 9 so I'm playing the fret 12 with a little finger okay I pluck this simultaneously and then I have the thumb uh, again on the fifth string um, and then the first string fret number 9 second string fret number 12 10 and then E major. Okay, very simple phrase. So sixth open string, the second string is the fret number 12. Okay, and then the sixth string again, and the first string fret number nine. Second string fret number 12, and fret 10. 
And then we play the last chord, which is the D major, uh, which is going to sound like this. A very simple A major scale played in two different positions, okay? Um, so the first one is this one. That is symmetrical. The root note is the fourth string, and I start with the first string from number 12, 10, 9, and then I do the same on the second string. 12, 10, 9, okay? And then I'm gonna change uh, position, and I'm gonna play the first string fret number 2, the second string fret number 5, 3, 2, okay? And then the third string fret number 4 and 2, okay? So, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you finish with a beautiful A major chord, okay? Just, I usually pluck that with the thumb, and then a quick strum on the top, okay? So, Let's just add a little bit of a challenge here. Super awesome melody, very simple, okay? Take it step by step, guys, and I'll see you on another video.